He isn't trying to push his weight on you or anything. He's curious. Okay, why are you here? He's observing you. He looks menacing. In the dark, I look menacing. Is this your favorite doll? Mrs. Martin's husband found the body on the floor. Look at that. If you look down there, it looks like somebody's peeking out. I was staring into the face of a six foot nine shadow man. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I traveled all the way to Iowa in which I made myself another exploration within the Far R School. This place is located on Indian burial ground. This whole area here was pretty much a reservation for Native Americans in which what makes this school haunted. The last time I was at this school a lot of creepy things happened on and off and mostly off camera there were things where you could actually feel a presence going through the room Marco. it started trying to go off again but i also want to give a great shout out to my friend will and his wife Jacqueline. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, how are you? Uh, she's a big fan and she likes to watch and I just wanted to give you a good shout out and you are married to one magnificent man. So, shout out to his family. Not that I would know. But that being said, let's explore this school. Look at the size of this place. Now if you're wondering who that great car there is, that is actually the owners. They sleep in the room towards the bottom left side. I usually don't mention it, but yeah, that's just telling you about the great car but look at the size of this place isn't it fantastic and if you look over here this is a very tree that will was telling me about that there was a whole bunch of uh, rituals that had happened out here and a big storm came down this was the only tree remaining apparently it's a really old tree that's still here but look at this now this place is absolutely in the middle of Iowa so there is it's very quiet I want to check on the inside. Well, it's still daytime before it gets nighttime. Because that apparently is when the magic happens. There's a fallout shelter that goes inside of a room. I was almost attacked by rats when I was going down there. I'm not sure how much has changed since the last time I was here. Nutrition zone. This is the fallout shelter sign I was telling you about. Those are very rare and I love to see those. That just shows that this place is super historic. But I want to see what's over here. I believe this is the area where they have said that there was report sightings of the Shadow Man. Oh, I think it's this part. It might actually be on the floor above this one. But look at this. Place kind of looks all opened up. 
This entire area is all rimmed. I remember this. There was like a whole bunch of people or other groups that come here and they uh, put their names on the board. I want to see like this grand area that I haven't been to in a while. This is another room where all my camera equipment was turning off. And I was sitting on that table there. And I had a camera back here that kept going off. That is super creepy. Look at that. How was that? See if that has a bell on it. Can you make a sound again? This here is the graveyard that's literally right next to the school. At this point now, I'm going to start making my way towards the school area because I feel like it's going to start pouring any moment now. It's starting to rain a little bit harder. Oh, that's mud. Just got started and I heard a noise. There we go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a nighttime explore here just to get my bearings because everything completely changed now. It's completely dark. I'm on my way to the second floor and I heard what sounded like a moaning.
feel like I'm, I'm seeing shadows. I don't mean to move the camera around like I do. Let me check over here. They put balloons here for whenever something moves or gets triggered, you would see a balloon move. I think they put something on the inside of the balloons, like a highlighter. I guess to keep the balloon stable or steady from falling off, which is pretty interesting. But just upon coming here, I was already hearing like weird moans or noises a minute ago. I'm desperately trying to catch that again on camera. Let's keep going. movement in the rooms without anybody being well besides the owner being here but the owner is underground there's another room that goes downstairs and that's where they stay they don't even like leaving the room at a certain time at night because of the activity that they get See if anybody wrote here. Looks like it was a yes and a no and some tic tac toe. I think I remember the last time I was here. I heard something coming from this room too. Because I remember touching this. Is that creepy doll that I have not seen in a really long time. Yeah, that is some nightmare fuel right there. Could you imagine she just starts moving her eye? That is terrifying. Remembering Terry. Terry was found, I think, in the, like, not too far from the schoolhouse. And he was dead. And nobody knows why Terry passed away. His body was just found there. From what I remember, for what Will told me. But, that's the story of Terry. Oh, they updated. Terry Lee Vandal Hall. 19... 1975 so it was 1975 he was found believe Archer man the farm was on the discovered the body hidden in the grassy area behind 
the corn crib, Sheriff Shark said it is believed that the body was at the farm for about 60 days. Dr. A. Power, Story County Medical Examiner, performed an autopsy in our hospital was found about 30 to 40 feet from the body. Wait, a pocket knife was found 30 to 40 feet from the body, Sheriff Shark said. So I'm inside this room, and as I finish looking around, I'm like looking around the room for any little thing that I could read or try to learn more about some of the history here. I hear a noise outside the room. Now I don't know if that could be Terry or that could be just random noises that's happening around the school. But that's not the first time that that's happened. Terry, are you with me in this room right now? Terry? Somebody wrote this. Help me, help me, help, help. Boo. Terry, if you're with me right now, can you get close to my spirit box? Terry, are you behind me? It's an awkward position to put me in, Terry. A yes or no would be greatly appreciated. I'm freaking myself out right now. All right. Terry did not pull through. Let's keep going. So right now I have a really good idea. I went into this room before and uh, something really creepy happened to me the last time I was inside this room that's behind me. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the K2 and I'm going to actually have uh, I'm going to be using creepy sounds as a trigger, trying to see if I can get a response while I'm down here. It is super dark. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera in front of me so that way you guys can see. I'm going to put this doll right over here. Can you sit still? I'm going to call you Samantha. Okay, Samantha. Oh, that's terrifying. And at the same time, I'm going to watch my sex. something outside. Focus. I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the creepy audio and seeing if this works. Is there anybody here with me? Again, that's my audio. Can you come close to me? I actually have tears right now. I'm I'm actually kind of freaking out. Can you tell me your name?
this pencil here. All this is is a spare box. That's under the table, and that's over the table. Can you tell me your name? Is this your favorite doll? Oh my god, fucking thing. This thing is steadily going. Look, I'm gonna grab my phone. I right now am gonna turn it off. Okay, I'm putting it here. Are you still here? What the fuck? I didn't upset you, did I? I, I just was trying to communicate. Is it okay that I can talk to you? Marco. I definitely felt something pass through this room before. Okay, let's keep going. I just now made it to the third floor. I do have the PSP 7 with the boo box, a light, and all the essentials. Pretty much I'm gonna see if I can start communicating, talking, see if I can get any responses back while being here. I think the last time I was here, I got a ton of responses back or a lot of weird things happening all around while being here. This is my environment right now. As you can see it, that is my setup on top of the little stage here. But enough of the talking, and let's get right into it. So right now I'm already set. I'm sitting on the table right now on the stage. I'm gonna go ahead and use a PSP7, which is connected to the spirit box or the boo box, um, which is pretty much just a speaker. It actually helps you hear more, and it has a reverb and some cool stuff on it. Is there any spirits here with me, or is there someone Looking for anyone. I, I, I heard noises. Anyone that is willing to, to talk to me. Hello? Or who am I speaking to? He believes. He believes what? May I ask you your name? That removes some of my concerns. Terry, or whoever's here, is, is it Terry that I'm talking to so I know? All America's Best Efforts. All America's Best Efforts. 
All America's best efforts for what? Can I get a name? My name is Frank. I'm just exploring. I've been here, I think, last year. And I'm, I'm here again. I, I just want to know if, if uh, anybody here remembers me. Did you move the doll in the room that I was in and are you following me? Or making noises around this school as I've been exploring it? Every time you go down towards the basement floor, it gets ridiculously cold. Wanna look inside, in fact, there we go. Just hoping I don't come in contact with any rats. It's creepy. Look at that. If you look down there, it looks like somebody's peeking out with a thermal. But that's the far room in the back. I don't even know if that was maybe what I saw or thought it was. Or maybe it was something else. Look at that. If you look down there, it looks like somebody's peeking out. With a thermal. But that's the far room in the back. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you've seen. I have finally completed my all-nighter. If you look behind me, the sun is now coming out. I am exhausted. I had some quiet moments and I had some terrifying moments. And I was also expecting a tornado to hit because I was getting tornado warnings pretty much all night last night. It's still been pretty cloudy, as you can see. Um, I was hoping for a thunderstorm or something to make this ambience even more creepier than this place already was. But if you guys haven't, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys, which I have some pretty cool, awesome places coming up on the next adventure. I hope the wind is not uh, making you guys go deaf. But that being said, bye, guys.